the capital city of Austria and featuring the sixth largest population in the European Union, Vienna is a stunning destination, filled with a rich history and vibrant culture. Today we're going to look at just what makes the city so great, what it has to offer visitors and where the best locations are to stay. We begin at the very heart of the city, in Innerstadt, the old town of Vienna. It is located at the geographical center of the city and is surrounded by the Ringstrasse, also known as the Vienna Ring Road. It doesn't matter if you prefer taking in the history and beauty or relaxing with a meal or a drink here. You'll never be far away from something to make your visit to the city a memorable one when you're in Innerstadt. Our second destination is located directly to the east of Innerstadt, in the form of Vienna's second municipal district, Neopoldstadt. Along with Vienna's 20th municipal district, Brigittenau, it is located on an island between the Danube Canal and one of its former arms, the Danau Canal. For a third destination, we remain in a similar area, still in the center of the city. Landstrasse, Vienna's third municipal district, is bordered by Innerstadt to the northwest and Leopoldstadt to the northeast. This is a location known primarily for a single attraction. However, it is one of the most famous and iconic locations in not just Vienna, but perhaps all of Austria. The location in question is that of the Belvedere Palace. Our next destination is the first that isn't located directly in the center of the city. This time, we'll be looking at Vienna's 10th municipal district, Favoriten, located on the southern border of Landstrasse. This district stretches from the outskirts of the city center to the southern edge of the city. Next, we'll move immediately east of Favoriten to Vienna's 11th municipal district of Simmering. Bordered to the east by Leopoldstadt and to the north by Anirstadt, it is the most southeastern district in the city. We move east yet again to our next destination, Vienna's 22nd municipal district, Donaustadt. With a western border shared between Simmering, Leopoldstadt and the Danube, Donaustadt is the largest and easternmost district in Vienna. In fact, Donaustadt covers roughly one-fourth of Vienna's total area. We now move to the westernmost point of the city and the 13th municipal district. Here you will find the district of Heatsing, located on the southern bank of the Wien River. The district's main attraction is the legendary Schönbrunn Palace. Originally a 16th-century mansion, it was gradually developed over the next century into the sprawling complex you see today. Located two districts north of Heatsing, our next destination is Vienna's 16th municipal district, Ottokring. While a little detached from the center of the city, this is a great spot for those looking to enjoy a few drinks while in the city. Our penultimate destination is Vienna's 7th municipal district, Neubau. It is bordered to the west by Ottokring and to the east by Innerstadt. Not an area that is known for specific tourist attractions, there is really only one that stands out. The St. Elrich Church is a stunning Roman Catholic church, featuring Baroque architecture, built in the early 18th century. With beautiful towers and halls, it is a fabulous representation of the religious history of the area. Our final destination is located immediately to the south of Neubau. Josephstadt is the 8th municipal district and is the smallest of all 23. A largely middle-class residential district, this is a location that is considered one of the safer destinations in the city. That said, the city in general isn't one that has much of an issue with crime. Schliefmolgas is located a short way south of Vienna's Innerstadt and is a vibrant area, filled with attractions ideal for younger travelers or those seeking a hip environment. Weeden is located immediately to the east of Schliefmolgas, so features a similarly hip and youthful atmosphere. Antique stores and vegan markets begin to become even more prominent as you move ever so slightly further from the city center. Located to the southwest of the city center, Margariton is a primarily residential neighborhood that can make for a slightly more relaxed and affordable place to stay, while still being close to the attractions. Mariahof is an incredibly densely populated area, located near the heart of the city. Surrounded by many of the most popular parts of the city, it gives you the chance to stay in some of the finest hotels Vienna has to offer, for slightly less than it would cost you in Innerstadt. Penzing is located in the far west of Vienna, on the outskirts of the city. With at least 30 minutes of traveling to the city's most famous attractions, it isn't a destination suitable for those that want to enjoy sightseeing on a daily basis. Rudolfsheim Funforce are a pair of districts, located roughly two kilometers west of Margariton. It is an area that is currently undergoing substantial renovation, with its landscape changing almost daily. Orsagund is located to the north of the city centre, and is a place known for arts and education. Home to the 650-plus-year-old University of Vienna, students studying all manner of subjects congregate here, creating a real bohemian feel. Meidling is located in southwest Vienna, towards the outskirts of the city. As a primarily residential neighbourhood, it has truly little to offer in the way of attractions. Vienna is a beautiful city that has plenty to offer for visitors from all walks of life. 
Hopefully after reading this article you will now be clear on where to stay to best meet your own personal needs. Now all that's left is to go and get things booked so you can experience it for yourself as soon as possible.